Hello YouTube, it's Brad from SonicGamer.com and RoomRetro.com um, I'm going to have to change my opening, it's fucking shit. I don't know what to say. I just never know what to say these things. But tonight we've got a quick little pickup and uh, a VR to Novabug. Congratulations on the 200 subs. So first, quick little shout out for a new tuber. We've all been there, we've all had zero subs, we've all done our first video and we can all remember how fucking nervous we were when we did it. Now, this is for, like I say, it's a brand new achiever. It's collecting Dreamcasts, PlayStation 1, a few other bits. His name's Kieran, I think it's Kieran Cassie. I might be wrong there, but he'd be in the description below. I've been talking to him now for about a month via G+. I know he follows some of you, you know, your channels as well, so you might have seen him pop up um, and ask questions. But he's just put his first video out and he actually got in front of the camera for the first time. Great guy. Um, he's, I won't go into what he does for a job, but, you know, I'll take my hat off to him. Well done, buddy. You know what you do, I'm sure he'll go into it at some point in his videos. So, if you want to go and check him out, like I say, we all know how hard and how difficult it is when we first start out on YouTube. So, please, go and check him out and see what you think. Right, pick up before I get onto these. Um, this video response. Not feeling it tonight, oh I'm tired, really tired. We'll get through this. So, Ryan Shand, again, I'll put his in the description below. Um, asked me if I wanted to buy a game that I don't know if it's up from a car boot or just having some bits off, I'm not sure. But it's a game that I have been after. I do actually own a copy of this, but it's not in great condition. Um, it's a game that goes for quite a bit of money as well. So when I saw it, I said yes, I'll buy it off you. And the price he gave me on this was absolutely amazing. We're talking way, way, way below what he goes for. Um, it's a great game, platform game, mad as fuck. If you haven't checked it out, go and watch some videos. I'll say I'll do a gameplay, I always say that, but I never get around to it. So go and watch somebody else's video on YouTube. Uh, the game in question is Skull Monkeys on the PlayStation 1. Absolutely amazing game. As I say, I do own a copy already in the collection, but it's got a fucking drawing all over the back of it and the manual's not very good on the one I've got. But this, the manual and the disc is in really good condition, so I have got a really nice copy of uh, Skull Monkeys now. Like I say, it does go for a, a fair package though. It's, you know, it'll go anywhere from 20, 22 quid up to about 40 quid, depending for the view on eBay. So that's another thing now, I am actually, I've actually got round to making a PayPal account again. Now I did have one like a few years ago, but I got scammed for about 550 quid or something like that, and I cancelled my account, never ever to go back. <laughs> but obviously they've changed a lot of things now on eBay, and it's more secure. So I'm now back, and I do my PayPal, which is great. So Ryan, I know we did bank transfer, there were no problem, but I do, any future, I'm on PayPal. I'm trying to rush through this, because I've got one bar of battery. The camera is a pain, I'm sure I've got to get a new battery for this. So yeah, the main chunk of the video is a VR to Novabug. And it's just got, it's 200 subs, it's put up 11 questions, which is, yeah, the answer put up to 11. Spinal Tap, brilliant. Um, there's actually 12 questions, <laughs> but, you know, he asked 11 questions to the community. Uh, I think he's doing a competition, I didn't get that far into the video, I paused it. So I want to rest on it afterwards. So I've printed all the questions off, not thought about any of these. And I've only watched half the video, so I haven't really heard them neither. So here we go with question one. If you could go back in time and change one design aspect from your favourite console system, what would it be? Now he goes on to say that you know you, you could only change stuff or add stuff to it that was around in the days when the console was available. Now for me, I'm going to choose the only console I think that needs altering is the Mega Drive. And the Mega Drive, especially the Model 1, is a sexy beast. I absolutely love it. Pure 16-bit power, and it sets it right there at the front. It's like a Ferrari. It's badges there, right on the front of the console. The downside to it is the sound is absolutely terrible. So yeah, whatever the use for the sound chips, add all of that, and give it rocking sound. So that would be my answer to that one. Question two. Now this is where I got up to <laughs> on your video. But it's, what is your favourite kind of glass? Oh, I actually got a couple of props for this because the wife bought some new glasses recently. These are the ones I usually use. 
nice solid glass. She bought these fucking things. Yeah. Fingerprints are all the way. These things, but listen. They're so thin. It feels like you're gonna break it to go end up looking out glass in your face and stuff. They're fucking pathetic. And these weren't cheap. What the fuck are you buying them for? Well I suppose my favourite sort of glasses, I do like a nice stained glass window. Uh, the sort you see in the big old cathedrals and all that like comes in. Absolutely love them. They're absolutely amazing. So if I'm allowed that answer, look it outside the box and glass and I don't know. That would be my answer. A nice massive stained glass window. It's absolutely fascinating. You know the the workmanship that goes into them. Brilliant. Question number three. Which console slash system would you save from extinction? All other systems and their games will have never existed. Which one would you pick? Right. Um, no emulation allowed either. Um, if you if you pick a PC, only PC games would be available. This includes backwards. Hmm. Now, I would have automatically said the PlayStation Three, the early ones, because technically, if you got a sixty gig one, all their games would be the full library. So you get PlayStation Three, PlayStation Two, and PlayStation One. <sighs> I don't think I'm allowed to say that. But fuck it, that's my answer. PlayStation 3, 60 gig, or the backwards compatible models. But you say you're not allowed backwards compatibility. So that would have been my answer. I suppose it would either be the PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2. Um, both are absolutely amazing games on them, in my opinion, anyway. And I suppose I'm edging more towards PlayStation 2. I think it's very close between them both. I just. Yeah, PlayStation 2. I'm going to go for PlayStation 2. Um, just because of the graphics, and obviously they're on DVD, so the games tend to be a lot larger, a lot bigger. So PlayStation 2. Question number four. What character would you like to be in the film Labyrinth? And if you haven't watched it, explain why. Well, I have watched it, and it's fucking shit. So, I wouldn't be any of the fucking characters in it at all. But I, I hate the film. Absolutely, 80. So, none of the characters, um, or somebody that dies early on, so that I don't have to get it much longer. Um, question number five. What is your favourite video game media slash format and why? I presume that means CDs, cartridge, etc. That's what I'm getting from this. I could be wrong, hopefully that's correct. If that is the case, it would be CDs. See about the collection. Um, CD slash DVD. Just because the amount of storage on there and what they did with the, art, the artwork on a lot of the discs was absolutely amazing. So, CDs slash DVD. Um, question number six, I'm rushing a bit now because it's flashing the camera. Which science fiction spacecraft would you like to be in real, uh, sorry, would you like to be real and exist in our time? Hmm. The Del DeLorean time machine, Back to the Future. Simple. That's it. There was a toss up between that and the X Wing, because I absolutely love the X Wing. But Del the DeLorean um, from Back to the Future, the time machine. That's what I'd like, as long as I could drive it. And question number seven What video game is your guilty pleasure? Something I play a lot of. There's a cross up between two things. I play quite a bit of Candy Crush. I know I shouldn't. I don't play it by Facebook and I don't mind other people with invitations and stuff. I play it offline on my phone. Or Peggle on the Xbox 360. So I think it's one of them two. Um, absolutely love both the games. They're just little games you can play. Peggle is absolutely amazing a game. If you've not played Peggle, go and check Peggle out. Uh, both really simple, simple to play, and they just waste hours of your time. So into the games I do play when I'm not playing other games. Question number eight. Do you think you're at your age? No. <laughs> not at all. Um, I just do some stupid things. I do some silly bets with mates. Uh, electrocuting the cells and just really stupid things. I mean, I'm 40 next year and I'm still fucking about playing football, climbing up trees. You name it, I do it. So, no. I do not. 
at my age. So, question number nine: Who to you is the most annoying, tedious, arsake video game character? Oh, that's easy because I was playing it earlier on today. It's that fucking baby Mario from Yoshi Island or Yoshi's Island on the SNES. The bit where it comes off Yoshi's and you've got them going 10 seconds. So, Baby Mario on that game is the most annoying video character ever. Either that or Sackboy. Um, Sackboy, I just want to rip the fucker off. Rip him off, pull his stuff out and just boot him down the road. I hate the character, but I can see why Sony dropped it. So yeah, one of them two. Uh, question number 10. What game has your favourite original soundtrack? This does not include games with commercial music. I'm going to say the one of some of the best music I've heard in a video game is the Silent Hill series. Some absolutely amazing tracks in there. And there's two, that and Final Fantasy VII. But overall, just the Silent Hill series, I can't remember the producer's name, it's gone. What's his name? Massive producer for video game music. Can't remember his name, but that is absolutely amazing. Just go and check it out. It's creepy, it's eerie, it, it just sets the tone perfectly for each scene in Silent Hill. Absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, Silent Hill, the whole series, all the way through. Absolutely amazing music in there. Uh, question 11. What is your favourite type of weather? I quite like rain. I like the rain after it's been a really hot day and then the rain comes down and it's like, oh, it's so refreshing. So yeah, I quite like the rain. Quite boring, I like the rain. And question 12, which is an optional question. Ask Novabug anything. Keep it cleanish. Right, Novabug. Hmm, what can we ask you? Let's have a look at you. It's a very nice depressed t-shirt you are on there, notebook. Do you do your own ironing? There you go. There's your question. But honestly, good, uh, buddy, well done. Well done on getting to 200 subs. Absolutely amazing. I'm not sure if this is a competition or not. Like I say, when I watched a bit of the video, I'm not really bothered. Not idea for the prizes. Great guy, but a great channel. Um, I watch you live on Friday nights whenever you're on, on... Um, Retro, Unlim, absolutely brilliant. Um, but yeah, keep it up, buddy. Looking forward to watching your channel grow and very informative. So that's it tonight, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, like I say, go and check out Kieran, who'll be down below. Ryan Shand, down below. And as always, from me to you, keep gaming.